Saint Benignus of Kilbannon. Feast Day, November 9. Harmony of Faith, The Life and Legacy of Saint Benignus of Kilbannon. Chapter 1 The Chieftain's Son. In the heart of ancient Ireland, where lush green hills met the endless blue of the Irish Sea, a young boy named Benin was born. He was the son of Sessanen, a respected chieftain in what would later become County Meath. Little did anyone know that this unassuming child would become a beacon of faith and a beloved disciple of Ireland's patron saint. Chapter 2 Baptized by the Apostle Benin's life took a profound turn when St. Patrick arrived on the shores of Ireland. The saint baptized the young Benin, bestowing upon him a new name, Benignus, meaning gentle and kind. Thus began the remarkable journey of Benignus into the world of faith and devotion. Chapter 3 The Beloved Disciple Benignus became St. Patrick's favorite disciple and coadjutor in the Sea of Armagh. He followed his master through all of his travels, eager to learn and spread the teachings of Christianity. His gentle and lovable disposition endeared him to all he met, earning him the nickname Patrick's Psalm Singer. Chapter 4 The Voice of God Among Benignus's many talents was his angelic voice. He used his musical gifts to draw thousands of souls to Christ. His melodious chants and hymns echoed through the hills and valleys, inspiring many to embrace the Christian faith. Chapter 5 The Scholar and Scribe Saint Benignus was not only a disciple but also a scholar. He played a vital role in compiling the great Irish code of laws, the Sentius Moor. His keen mind and dedication to scholarship made him an invaluable contributor to the Psalter of Cashel and the Book of Rites. Chapter 6 A Witness to History Saint Benignus's life was entwined with the great events of his time. He was present at the historic synod that passed the canon recognizing the See of the Apostle Peter as the final court of appeal in difficult cases. This significant canon would be preserved in the Book of Armagh, a testament to his role in shaping the Church in Ireland. Chapter 7 The Founding of Kilbannon As the years passed, St. Benignus's devotion to God led him to establish a place of worship. He founded Kilbannon, a sacred site near Tuam, where the faithful could gather to pray and reflect. Chapter 8 The Legacy Lives On Saint Benignus's life was one of unwavering faith, scholarship, and devotion to God. He resigned his coadjutorship in 467 and, at the close of the same year, he passed away. His legacy, however, endures. His feast is celebrated on the 9th of November, a day when the faithful remember the gentle and kind disciple of Saint Patrick. Chapter 9 The Confusion of Two Saints Throughout history, St. Benignus has often been confused with another Irish St. Benignus from Armagh. Though they were contemporaries, their lives were distinct, each leaving their unique mark on the landscape of Irish Christianity. St. Benignus of Kilbannon, Patrick's psalm singer, remains an enduring symbol of faith, music, and scholarship in Ireland. His life, marked by a gentle and lovable disposition, continues to inspire and draw souls to Christ. His story is a testament to the power of unwavering devotion and the indelible mark one person can leave on the world. Glowing Star Looking for Daily Inspiration from the Saints? Subscribe to our channel and join us on a journey of faith and blessings. Folded hands discover the wisdom of saints like Saint Benignus of Kilbannon and receive their timeless guidance. Speech Balloon Share your blessings in the comments, spread the love, and inspire others with your faith journey. Mobile Phone with Arrow Share this video on your social networks and invite your friends and family to experience the beauty of faith together.